all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so listen man before we move forward to this video man i want to start this out by saying that i appreciate all of y'all for rocking with me and supporting this channel hell even supporting me as a whole you know i appreciate that real talk i just want to start it out by sending y'all some love and encouragement you know letting y'all know that i appreciate this love that y'all give on a consistent basis and i hope that everything is going y'all way in y'all life the way that y'all want it to and if it's not just give it a little time stay consistent and keep some faith and i promise you you're gonna get to where you're trying to get to in life but other than that let's get straight into the situation at hand so as y'all can already see cat williams got the internet on fire he got facebook snapchat instagram twitter he probably even got goddamn myspace on fire right now and uh you know he has some very controversial things to say about a lot of different people and you know one thing about him that I haven't seen happen too often here, if not any, damn near everybody, every single person has responded to him, like everybody that he mentioned. And, you know, another reason why I could be is because, you know, it's so viral and everybody want to make sure that they're seen the way that they want to be seen. You know, nobody wants you to try to mess with their character into the public. You feel me? But another thing that I also feel like is like, damn, when somebody just giving that real raw truth, you can't do nothing but come out and say something, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's not in your favor, you know? But anyway, go, I really don't know who telling the truth, but I'm, I'm still believing what Cat Williams is saying because everybody is basically saying what he's saying. Some things might be twisted and turned on somebody's side when it comes to the story, but as a whole, damn near everybody is saying that what he is saying is really true, you know? So it is what it is. But I got Ice Cube responding now. Kevin Hart responded the other day. He said something very simple, get the hate out your heart, and it's sad and things like that, that he's hating and stuff like that. But I just honestly feel like that, you know, he's just popping this shit right now. You know, sometimes people get like that, want to pop their shit, and then he's just probably tired of being treated a certain way and spoken on when he don't really be in the mix like that. You know, he be really low-key just handling his business to get his money, so it is what it is. But I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. We finna get into this video right now and see what the hell... Ice Cube, I already said. I've seen a shorter version of this, but I got the full version right now. But I don't want to fake no reaction. I can't do it. It just ain't in me. We just going to watch it together. You know what I'm saying? I might holler at y'all at the end of the video. But anyway, good. we're going to get into it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Let's get straight into it. Cracking this your homie, Ice Cube. Um, just wanted to address a few things. You know, everybody been checking out the internet. Um, my man, Cat Williams. Um, Got it on fire. <laughs> you know, first of all, I just want to say, you know, we shot that movie over 20 years ago. So, you know, people have different perspectives and it's been a long time. Um, I also want to say, you know, every comedian that I've worked with, every comedian that I've put in a movie, I only put them in the movie because I thought that was funny. I thought that was perfect for the part. Um, I tried to put him in a position to win. Um, that's what it's all about, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, you know. I look at it <clears throat> from, you know, Chris Tucker and Bernie Mac and Mike Epps, Cat Williams, um, you know, Ricky Smiley, Michael Blackson, um, Cedric. Um, Kat, I mean Kevin, Kevin Hart, um, you know, all these guys I know are funny as hell, you know, they, I didn't discover them, you know, they were doing their stand up or doing their thing and I, I knew that they were great and that they could act and that, um, you know, if I, if I have an opportunity, I was going to give them an opportunity, you know, to me that's what it's all about. Um, you know, as far as, you know, specific things, you know, um, Cat was 100 on, on a few things, uh, most of what he was saying, uh, a couple things, you know, um, no, I just want to clarify. Uh, when we bring in a new, you know, comedian, uh, we do have them try out for different roles. So, Ricky did um give money mike a shot um but when we saw him and you know we kind of saw how he moved and how he was you know um auditioning we decided that he would be a better uh you know santa claus 
um, which was to me the perfect casting. Um, when we saw M M Mike, I mean, uh, <laughs> damn, I call him Money Mike. When we saw Cat, you know, when I saw him, he, I just knew that he was perfect for Money Mike. Um, and, you know, Cat, Cat, you know, said he wrote his role, which, I mean, the role was written, but he enhanced it. This is why Cat um, was so dope in the movie. You know, Money Mike had a small role, you know, about as big as the Santa Claus role. But when we start filming, he was giving us such magic that we kept expanding his role and giving him more to do because he was on point. Um, you know, when we shoot these movies, you know, for one, the scripts are fire or they wouldn't even do it. The scripts are la a laugh out funny. But we shoot the script, but once we get what we need from the script, we let the comedians ad lib, riff, you know, play with the words, do their thing. You know, we give them a take where they can, or two, three takes where they can go off and do what they feel. Um, you know, sometimes it makes the movie, sometimes it don't. You know, when somebody gives you jewels, you want to. Um, try to make sure that makes the movie um so in the movie there's second thing i want to clear up it was never i would never shoot a rape scene uh in a movie especially like friday um where you actually see this happening on camera that ain't my style if you check out any of my movies they not raunchy. Um, you know, we did a movie called Players Club where the subject matter was a little raunchy, but but for the most part, um, even that, we we left it to your imagination. So the only reason that kind of stuff was in the movie is because you have three villains in Friday After Next. You have Santa Claus still in presence. You have Damon just got out of prison uh sweating craig and daddy for the rent money and then you have money mike you know a pimp that treats his woman uh you know like a property so craig is always fighting the villains in the movie you know from the joker brothers to debo and so we always we already had craig fighting santa claus and the only real way to get rid of the other two villains was to have them go against each other and the the plier joke was always in the script you know it was never um we would never ever show that you know that's not my style if you look at any of my movies um so you know that was never a, a discussion you know we you know, at that point in everybody's career, you know, we we would listen to a certain extent, but we wasn't going to change the movie for, it, for any actor. You know, we we do what we feel. And if, if it was a rape scene, it would have been in the movie. Um, it was no reason not to shoot it. <laughs> but that's not my style. I don't even like that kind of shit in movies um, on camera. And so... Um, you know, that was to me a little discrepancy there. Um, you know, Cat, he, uh, he wrote a lot of his part because, you know, like I said, he was giving us jewels. So we were keeping the camera rolling. He was coming off the dome. He was coming prepared every day to steal the show. You know, that was his mission. And, um, you know, that's what he did, you know, with the movie. Um, and it, it launched his career, you know, and, um, I'm proud of the movie. I'm proud of, um, all the guys who've, you know, come through, you know, a Q vision production and went on to do bigger and better things. Um, and look, you know, a lot of people are talking about pay and how much they was paid on these movies that were extremely low budget you know most of these guys work a couple of days you know 
And when you're doing a movie, there's over 100 people working on the movie that need to get paid. Most of them got to get paid every day. Um, and there's pre-production and post-production. Even after you finish with the actors, you got to pay editors and sound people in. And my movies are all about quality, so most of the money go up on the screen. I'm not giving you no bullshit. I'm not giving you no uh, low budget, you know, shit you can laugh at because it's so cheap. Um, so, you know, we try to put all the money on the screen. And so any actor that's <laughs> mad at what they got paid, you know, just look at what you was doing. Look at where your career was at the time take a look at where it is now and Friday has something to do with that I believe and I put a lot of people in movies but they ain't never put me in a movie so you can take that for what it's worth you know what I'm saying I've given a lot of these guys opportunities uh, and I still act so I'm waiting for a call I ain't gotta produce everything or write everything um I got love for all the comedians that I've worked with. Got, you know, much love for Cat. You know, he uh, he spoke up for me a lot. And uh, I just wanted to be clear and clarify some things. And uh, shit, man. I hope y'all have a good 2024. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as y'all can see, you know, he basically just saying that majority of what he was saying was true. But it's certain things that he not rocking with as far as like saying Cat Williams is running this and running that and basically saying in my in my you know what I'm saying in my personal opinion he kind of just saying like shit you know I gave him the opportunity and how can he come in here and run this and do this and do that and I'm really the boss that's what I was getting from this even though it's in a humble manner he still just letting it be known you know what I'm saying but overall I want to let y'all thoughts and opinions I'm still riding with Cat on this you know what I'm saying because like I told y'all before I rock with him you know he always just seemed like a genuine dude some of the things that he do that's not on film and things like that is very commendable and I rock with that you know certain, certain things that I didn't even know until it was brought up by other people, not just because of this interview. You know, you know, I didn't just start watching them and shit right now. But I'm just saying, you know, some of the things that I've heard is very commendable, you know. So, yeah, I just feel like he's a stand-up dude. That's what I'm really just trying to get at. But like I always say, we really just don't know because we're not there, not a part of this and things like that. We can just give our thoughts and opinions on situations that we really just don't know nothing about. And that's what I'm doing right now. But let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I will holler at y'all later on another video. If you made it to the end of this video, I do appreciate y'all, and I will holler at y'all later. All right.